This idea of slope doesn't just work with hills and staircases. It works with mathematical graphs as well. Lines have a slope, just like hills and stairs do. Take this line, for example. If I pick any two points in this line, let's say this one, which is 0, 0, and I don't know, this one, which occurs at 2, comma 4. I can compute the rise over the run of this line. So the rise would be this vertical increase in distance, and the run would be the horizontal increase over here. And I can tell it goes up 1, 2, 3, 4, and it goes over 1, 2, 4, and 2. So the slope of this line is equal to the rise over the run, which in this case is 4 over 2, or just 2. Now let's calculate the slope of this line thinking slightly differently, and let's see what happens. Instead of using 0, 0, and 2, 4, let's use 0, 0, and a different point. Let's use 0, 0, and I don't know, 3, 6. Well now, the rise is 6, and the run is 3. If I calculate the slope as the rise over the run, I still get a value of 2. So it doesn't matter which points you choose, a line slope is a line slope. So let's practice with a slightly different line. Let's look at this line. So what is the slope of this line? You can enter your answer here as rise over run, but make sure it's fully simplified. 